I once read from a commander from the U.S. Army stating that a soldier is a unique man who takes privilege and advantage of what he does and he takes pride of it. He said it is the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of the press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, who has given us the right to demonstrate. It is the soldier, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the soldier, not the clergyman, who has given us the right to worship. It is the soldier, not the politician, who has given us the right to vote. And it is the soldier who salutes the flag and serves under the flag and whose coffin is draped by the flag, who gives the protester the right to burn the flag. Think about that especially today where we have so many people who believe that they can run the world in their own way above and beyond anything else tells them to do against goodness against greatness the values that we have have to be upheld and the soldier teaches that the soldier listens to his commander and I'm proud to know that these soldiers are there to protect us. We have to thank them and we have to thank continuously God for watching over them. At the same time, we have to do our own part and help them fight and support them, supporting all of them, to know that what they're doing is necessary to combat the evil in the world. So to the soldiers, and to all of those who are related to soldiers. May God bless each and every one of you and protect you wherever you are and at all times in everything that you do. And we thank you. We appreciate you. And we'll pray for you all the time. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. If you like what you've heard, please let us know by leaving a comment below. We would really appreciate if you would be kind enough to like, share, and even subscribe. Feel free to follow us on Facebook.